University Udayana is located at Bali Province, Indonesia. Engineering Faculty has two campuses, Campus Sudirman at downtown and Campus Bukit Jimbaran, located 18 km from the first campus. The main office of Engineering Faculty is at Campus Bukit Jimbaran. Both campus has classroom, meeting room, and hall room. The difference is that all the laboratory facilities are located at Campus Bukit Jimbaran. Now, we are at the Engineering Faculty of Office Campus Sudirman. The support staff work at Campus Sudirman are mainly the support staff work at Campus Sudirman are mainly the support staff of master and doctoral degree programs. Campus Sudirman is used for classroom activity of master and doctoral degree programs, meeting especially after normal working hours, supervising activities, seminar, workshop for both student and staff. Now we are at Engineering Faculty of Campus Bukit Jimbaran. At the first floor, front office is ready to welcome student, staff, and any guests with applying COVID-19 protocol. There is a comfortable waiting area for the guests. The first floor contains room for administration, academic service, student scholarship, etc. The second floor is for the engineering faculty and his vice dean. Small meeting room and also financial administration, respectively. The third floor consists of two medium size of hall rooms. The first is 40 to 60 people capacity hall rooms, usually used for guest lecture, workshop, internal training, large meeting of student of staff. The second hall room is smaller, mainly used for faculty academic meeting or small training for academic staff. This hall room will be center and interview room for own QA assessment of bachelor mechanical engineering. Engineering Faculty Library is located at Building Undagiraha, nearby the main Engineering Faculty Office at Campus Bukit Jimbaran. The library has more than 6,000 textbooks and more than 11,000 student final projects, master thesis, and doctoral dissertation, respectively. A set of chair and desk is arranged as study area for students. Internet access is also available to support students in the library. This is the front area of Bachelor Mechanical Engineering Office at Campus Bukit Jimbaran. Here should be the parking area and access to the main road in the campus. However, currently is a construction project of the new building for educational room and laboratory. The Bachelor Mechanical Engineering Office is at Campus Bukit Jimbaran only. All academic activities of Bachelor Mechanical Engineering are set at Campus Bukit Jimbaran. The Bachelor Mechanical Engineering Coordinator and Administration Room are at Building DC. In the front office of Bachelor Mechanical Engineering, we can see the photos of academic staff on the wall, and some banner on graduate profiles and expected learning outcome of Bachelor Mechanical Engineering and we are heading to Bachelor Mechanical Engineering Coordinator Rooms. This is the Bachelor Mechanical Engineering Coordinator Room with the chair and desk to discuss with academic staff or his guests. Next to the Bachelor Mechanical Engineering Coordinator Rooms is the Administration Room for student service on your academic, document, and archive respectively. There are four support staff in the Administration Room and academic information system, document, archive, and financial. Now, we are heading to the study room of Bachelor Mechanical Engineering student. The study room is about 20 meters square, contains the desk and table for study discussion for around 25 students. The study room is also provided with internet access and book collection, including textbook on mechanical engineering subject and motivational topic totally almost 1,500 books. 
This is the large classroom, it can be used class size as large as 60 students. The classroom is provided with standard facility including the chair and desk, AC, computer, LCD projector, and fire extinguisher. This is the small classroom, can be used until 15 students. This kind of classroom is used for normally remedial subject class or elective subject. The facility available in the small classroom is similar to the big classroom. This is the medium sized classroom, can accommodate until 25 students. This similar classroom with the new design of desk that complies with the COVID-19 protocol. Until now, this desk has not been used yet, as the face-to-face -face class meeting is still banned. We are now heading to the big hall room in Campus Sudirman at 4th floor. The hall room name is Wisma Karma. We can go there by using the lift available in the building. The Wisma Karma hall size is about 100 people capacity. This is for seminar, workshop, training for both student and academic staff, and also for doctoral dissertation open defense. We are now in the outdoor area of Bachelor Mechanical Engineering Building. This is the path and its ramp for physical challenge people. Connecting the DD, DC, DE building and the Internet Garden of Bachelor Mechanical Engineering. In the outdoor area, there are two Internet Garden for students, each for 15 to 20 students. The sign of gathering point is available in the outdoor area in case emergency situation. We are now at the second floor of building DC. In this floor, we can find the lecture rooms. Each room is used for 2 to 3 lecturers. Totally, 15 lecturers have working desks here. The other lecturers rooms are at DD building or their laboratories. The Bachelor Mechanical Engineering Quality Assurance Office and Computer Laboratory are also in the second floor of DC building. Laboratory of Metallurgy Metallurgical laboratory is part of educational system of Bachelor Mechanical Engineering. This laboratory is the largest in Bachelor Mechanical Engineering University of Udayana. The organizational structure consists of Head of Laboratory, Professor Idewa Gede Ari Subagia PhD. The tools and equipment in the metallurgical lab are grouped into first, destructive tests, second, Non-destructive tests. The group of destructive test equipment. First, Universal Tension Machine (UTM). There are two units of 50 ton capacity for tensile test bending and press on all type of workpiece. Second, lathe to perform the process of making workpiece. Third, combination of drilling and milling machine to perform the process of making holes and forming workpiece. Fourth, rolling machine for bending the workpiece. Fifth, carpet impact machine to perform impact strength testing of metal and non-metallic material and component. Sixth, MIG and DIG welding machine for joining of material by electric current. Seventh, injection molding machine to perform composite material printing by injection. 8. Hot press machine to perform printing of composite material in emphasis with temperature. 9. Polish machine to cleaning material before next process in material testing. 10. Other equipment. The group of non destructive tests including first, scanning electron microscope. For analyzing the failure and fracture as well damage characterized of material, this equipment can also be used to investigate the metallurgy compound and the nano size. Second, electron microscope. This equipment is used to observe the metallurgical performance and characterize after the mechanical and physical testing. Third, 3D printer. This equipment is used for printing of model from computer drawing. 
Laboratory of Basic Phenomenon. This laboratory is an educational lab. Currently, there are four practice game activities in this lab. First, the deflection testing. The practical activity is conducted to understand the basic theory of circular and rectangular root deflection to compare the material deflection between the theoretically and experiment approach. Second, the conduction heat transfer test. The practicum is to understand the basic theory related to heat transfer in conduction mode and also studying the linear conduction and the thermal conductivity of a material. Third, the flash and fire point testing. This practicum is to test the flash and the fire point of liquid fuel and the effect of fuel addictive to the flash and fire point. Fourth, impact gist test. The practicum is to investigate the force and momentum from a jet that hitting a plate. Further, the practicum is also to compare the result of experimental and theoretical approach. Laboratory of Mature Analysis the laboratory provides services in the form of testing sample of material, characterization, and to determine the physical properties and composition of the element or compound. There is some test equipment used to characterize material including first, an ultimate test unit function to determine the element of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and sulfur from the material or material. Second, a boom calorimeter unit aimed to determine the calorific value of fuel, especially liquid fuel. Third, a furnace unit in a tool for heating material from room temperature to temperature 1200 degrees Celsius for several purpose analysis. Fourth, a gas analyzer unit function to determine the element contained in the gas fuel. Fifth, approximate test unit or TGA, thermographic analysis, aims to determine the physical properties of the material, namely as volatile, fixed carbon, and moisture. Engineering knowledge transfer unit (AKTU). Udayana University collaborates with university in Europe, FH Joanneum Austria, Politecnico Torino Italy, and Faccio Schule Aachen. Germany and several universities in Indonesia, University of North Sumatra, Malaysia, University Putra Malaysia, and University Technical Malaysia Malacca, and Thailand, Masrakam University, and Chulalongkorn University. Implement a grant project called Project Erasmus plus CBHE United Engineering Knowledge Transfer Unit to increase student employability and regional development AKTU. The objective of this project is to improve the current atmosphere of the automotive industry in Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand in terms of industrial business corporation and improving the quality of education. This project is expected to have a positive impact on technical development in relation to the national economy improvement and social development in Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand. Improve the quality of teaching and employability of students and academic staff through training, as well as opening up opportunity to realize more automotive engineering projects at the national or regional level. More equipment are included. First, hybrid engine trainer. Second, gasoline car engine trainer. Third, ANSI software for academic research. 